fucking ref. Yes, guys, welcome back to Sunday League. Today, we'll be taking on Market Hotel in the National Cup. Last time we faced Market Hotel, we crashed out of the Kent Cup semi-final, losing 4-0. Yes, 4-0. These are the highlights. So the lineup for this week is as followed. We have no John today, so we've got Tyler stepping in net. We've got Brad, Harry, Tolu and Quams in defence. Myself, Vance in the middle. We've got Myro, Eric, Eri ahead of us. And we've got Thomas up top. On the bench, we have George returning. Harvey, Junior, Lanray, Malachi and Sadiq was a bit late. Afternoon, boys. Afternoon. How are we feeling today? Good, man. How are you, Gaffer? I'm amazing. I can't lie to you, yeah? I say this more and more now. Every time I come, on a Sunday, to spend my Sunday morning or afternoon with you lot, I feel blessed. Yeah. I don't lie, I genuinely feel blessed. Because to be in a changing room with the players that we have and the atmosphere that we have now is second to none. But it means nothing if this changing room and this togetherness that we showed before the game isn't the same in the pitch. We don't show the same want, the same heart and the same desire to fight for each other. What I need you lot to do today is understand, again, big game, FA, FA Cup. We know what we need for it, from it. We know how to get there. But it's your mentality that gets us there now, on and off the pitch, whether you're starting or not. I need you lot to understand that it's not always play up to the occasion. Play our game, we win the game. Move the ball fast and short enough our passes, we win the game. Be clinical in the fight in their box, we win the game. Be ruthless in defending, we win the game. It's as simple as that. We just got knocked out of London Cup, big cup. We don't want to do the same again today. These lot come thinking it's a walkover when I walked up, they're all smiling, grinning. Let's change that. I don't want it to ruin our Sundays. We all know, yeah, we can say, yeah, it's just Sunday football at the end of the day. We're all winners here, so we want to win. We don't want to go back to that feeling that we had last week of, ah, oh, shoulda, coulda, might have scored. Oh, we didn't do this, whatever. Let's make it right today. Everybody, drag your players. If someone's like lacking, if someone's lacking, if you see me slacking, I'm just coming back in. Drag me through the game. Like, step up and be like, okay, he's not 100% today. Let me take it up 50%. Let me be the one that goes and makes that run. All right, he's struggling to track back. Let me track back for him, give him time to recover. But let's do it together. Like I said, these lot think it's a walkover. Let's change that. Today, I guess it goes without saying, we'll be looking to exact revenge. We are on our new strip, our new home ground. And now is the time. Both teams ready to go out. Another wet day here at the Irith Stadium. And uh, yeah, we're going to need a big performance. They know already that uh, we're going to want to come back at them after that last defeat. So they're going to be pumped up for this. It's a big game. And uh, we know that we don't want to be crashing out of yet another cup. Last week was disappointing enough. We don't want the same thing again today. The referee's had his chat with the captains. The um, officials are ready for the game. Uh, we're just going to do the minute silence for Remembrance Sunday. Uh, this is always something that we do. And uh, here we're honouring that yet again. Here we go then. Kick off. UTR against Market Hotel. We're underway. Eric finds himself in the corner to Market Hotel. Shirts around. Myro sets out his feet. Delivers the ball into the box. It's Eri's header. And it's over the crossbar. When we first met Market Hotel, we started quite well against them. First 20 minutes was good. After that, I don't know what happened. And we crumbled. We wanted a free kick there. Not given. Challenge there from Harry, which is a clip. It is a foul and the referee pulls it back. But we did want the decision to go away in the first place. We didn't get the decision and that's that. It's a free kick from Market. Uh, headed away by Harry there at the back. 17 steps in, drops here to Thomas. Uh, now Vance is on the ball. Vance has Eri to his left. Vance plays Eri through. Eri going into the box now. Can he get a shot off? He does, but he doesn't steady himself. It goes behind for a goal kick. It's back into our half. It's going to bounce into the striker there. Harry tried to shield him off the ball. Tolu's clearance stopped. And uh, a shot off there from the number 10. Saved by Tyler. Good reaction save. Close to maybe losing out there. Tolu's clearance was blocked. Good shot from the number 10. Maybe straight at Tyler, but he's dealt with it and did his job. 
Both sides have had early chances. Number eight whips the ball into the box. Not a bad ball. Ten gets his head to it and Tyler's down to his left. That's a fantastic save. Make no mistake about it. Bradley congratulating him. Even the, the opposition felt that that warranted some praise there. It's a good header down from the number 10 in the perfect position. That should be a goal on a normal day. But Tyler does very well to get down there. It's right in the corner as well. Market corner, trying to turn the screw. It's a ball into the number nine, headed away by Thomas. He's going to drop here on the edge of the box. A bit too far for me to get to. Number eight keeps it alive. It's here with Thomas up against the number two. Uh, trying to find the eight. Thomas has done well, but he's kept it in for the two. He delivers it back into the box. At the back post is a header that will go over the bar from the skipper. Still nil-nil. A uh, quarter of an hour played. Number nine tries to bring it down there. Uh, himself and Quams in a tangle there. He's grabbed onto Quams' shirt. Quams has reacted. They're going to need to be separated. Every game in Sunday League, we're going to have a bit of this. And uh, yeah, I can see why Quams has reacted like that, but we need to be careful. We've seen it before where one of our players has reacted and we've been cautioned for it or even worse. But both players get the yellow on this occasion. Shaking hands as well. Nice. Play continues. It's Myro putting into space for Thomas to chase. Thomas has got legs on him. Don't be deceived by his frame. Uh, Thomas there up against number six does well to get his body in front. Has he got enough support? Eric's there. Myro, um, Eri's at the back post. He's got Myro in close proximity, but nothing really doing there. I've gone in there to try and win it off the 17 as he's able to clip the ball in behind there. It's 10 chasing. Tyler's there. Gets his feet a little bit wrong. Uh, Quams gets his body in front, put to ground, and he will get a free kick. 10 can't believe it. Still UTR yet to get going. Uh, over 17 minutes gone now. Eri controls it nicely. It's Quams in field to yours truly. Tried to spin away. I'm slipping there. It's not an easy surface at the moment. We're trying to work on it. Uh, Quams plays it back in field. It's in here to Eric. Eric out to Vance. We might have a way out to this right-hand side. Vance uh, second guesses the pass. Keeps it into Myro. We've done well to fashion a little bit of play together here. It's Bradley onto Myro again. Still uh, Market Hotel keeping their shape very well. Not making it easy for us to break them down. We have to be patient. Back out to Myro from Vance. Eric gets through the two players. He's clipped. And we earn ourselves a free kick. Nice build up. And we've got a little bit of an end result. Free kick then. Myro had some good deliveries last week. It's another decent one. But it's headed away by uh, the number nine for market. And cleared up the field here for Tyler to hopefully deal with. He's played it here to Quams. It looks like it'll be heading out of play. I think Quams kept that in. Lino flags. And uh, gives the market throw. Something has been said to the referee. He doesn't like it. And the skipper is going to earn himself a yellow card. So that's a yellow card for the four. It's up in the air. Eric against the number five. Does enough to put him off. I take over. Clipped and pushed by the number eight. Nothing given. Four breaks with the ball. Mark it. Try and get up the pitch. Nice little shoulder drop from the 18. Gets away from Vance. He's going towards goal now. It's bobbling everywhere. Uh, Harry puts in a challenge there. And the referee deems that to be a foul. I don't know what's going on here. That free kick then. 18. Whips it straight into the wall. Drops to the number nine there. He stabs on through. And it's uh, nice and easy for Tyler. Harry on the ball, stepping in field, uh, plays it there to Thomas. He's set into my path. He's been fouled by the number six. I tried to pass it out wide there to Eric. It's blocked anyway. And the referee pulls it back. It's a UTR free kick and a yellow for the six. That free kick is taken by Vance, aka John Wick, to Thomas's header straight into the hands of the market keeper. All bark, no bite at the moment from UTR. I can't even say that we're barking. It's a pass through from the 18. Lovely pass as well. Through to the 10 and Tyler's in the way. It's up in the air. They're good in the air. Number nine flicks it on for the 10. It's cleared away. Quams has gone to the ground. Uh, Eri's on the ball. We're going to have to stop play, though. Quams caught a bit of a sore one on the landing from the number nine. E just on his foot there. Those ones always hurt, especially when it's cold. UTR throwing in our own half. It's gone from Tolu to Tyler. Tyler under pressure from the number nine. Plays it here to Quams. Quams needs to get rid of this. He hasn't done so. He's given it straight to a market player. And... We have caused our own downfall there. Number 11 punishing us. You can't make such mistakes. They've done the Lacazette celebration there as well. That's poor from us on the half hour mark. Like I said, causing our own problems. Taking a throw for Tyler to deal with. He's played it to Quams. He's scuffed his clearance. Giving it straight to a man in blue. And I think there we could even do better to stop that but it's 1-0 to market hotel and I can't say they haven't deserved it
on a wet day that's always going to be a little bit difficult to deal with for Tyler as well so um, he's made a few saves for us so far I'm not going to be complaining because uh, we could have been a goal down a little bit earlier uh, it's in here to Eric Eric turns away from the five Eric caught by the 18 and that's a UTR free kick Myro standing over it left footed straight into the wall it's going to drop here to uh, Vance Vance onto Eri Eri looking to take his man down the line cuts it back and uh, actually it goes only behind the goal that has been the story of our game so far. Eri wins the ball up against the number four. Uh, comes back here to the 18 from the eight. Little loose pass from the 18. I've skipped, turned him inside out, played it into Eric in the middle. He's left it for Myro. He's got Vance on the left. Uh, Thomas through the middle. He's gone inside. He's been tackled by the number six. I think uh, fouled there by the number four. Nothing given from the referee. Play continues. Eight uh, or six, sorry. Looks deep for the number 10. Up against Tolu. Uh, gets his body in front there, Tolu and puts in a challenge which warrants a goal kick apparently according to the lino 10 is fuming i think he's right also uh ends in a yellow card for their gaffer a goal down and plenty of work to do it's a long throw into the box tolu's flick on off the five thomas sets it to eric bit of a tame shot and two clears so loose ball vance steps in tolu flicks it on i take over 18 tries to get me down eight does and that's definitely a foul a scissor tackle that will get him straight in the book yellow card UTR free kick, Vance on the delivery. Tolu's header, just wide of the post. Half time is uh, quickly coming upon us. It's uh, Tolu with a nice little bit of defending there, plays it into Eric, and uh, we're going to be able to build again. Harry Sargent with it, just inside the UTR half. Piercing pass through the market defense. It finds Eri on this left hand side. Uh, Eri up against the number two, turns people inside out for fun. On this occasion, he just needed to stay on the outside. It's a UTR corner. That corner to be taken by John Wick. Uh, headed away at the front post, goes to the back post. Tolu keeps it alive. Keeper's ball. Challenge for the ball here. Eric in the 17. 17 absorbs the contact. Eric gets the ball from him though. Uh, tries to play it through there for Myra. The referee pulls it back for a foul. That will also be a yellow card for the 17. One of the softer ones I'd say today. Myro on the delivery. Actually, no, he's gone for the shot and it's high wide and not at all handsome. The ref will probably blow his whistle at any moment. We're still a goal down. Thomas cushions that back into Eric's path. He's challenged by two market shirts. I come across putting a tackle there. The number two's not happy with it and he's just flying through anything in front of him. Headed away by um, the nine at the back there. Bradley's header loops up in the air. I've tried to just lean up against the number 18. Didn't get away with it. There it is then, the half-time whistle. And as things stand, we are heading out of yet another cup competition. That is not how we want to be going out. So we need to do something to get back into this game. For me, that's been a good first half. The reason why it's been a good first half is because we've competed for everything. Cool, they love everybody, we know that. But what have we done? Well, we've dealt with them as much as we could have. But what I don't like, and what I'm not happy with, is how little we're creating. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, if we're talking about who's had the ball, we've had it. We've controlled this half. But we've given a stupid mistake, and then our heads have dropped a little bit. I'm not saying, yeah, cool, you have to play a thousand passes. I'm not even saying that. But utilise our wide players. Because for me, honestly, I can't even come in there and say, you're, you're, you're not playing bad. But we need to be smarter when we're going forward. All it is this, this half is decision making. Don't change your work rate. Don't change your heart. Don't change your desire, because you've shown all of that. But better decision making across the board. We go into the second half then. Harry Sargent on the ball. Met of a challenge from the number nine who is already on a yellow card. Harry's rolling around. We all know it didn't hurt that much, but the game is the game. Uh, number nine protesting his innocence, saying that he got the ball. He didn't get the ball and he is going to receive a second yellow. One of their key players for holding up the ball and winning a lot of stuff for them in the year. Uh, very tidy. Been doing it for years in the non-league system. But that's uh, a yellow card all day long. So then, uh, can we do something with this extra man advantage? I've brought it down here and it goes to Vance. He's got me again, a little bit of a weird touch there. Not the greatest of touches, just flew right up. myro has got the ball here, plays it into me, tried to turn cleverly away from the 10. I ended up diving in there and missing the 11. Bradley's come across there, 11 goes to the ground. The referee gives a foul. Harry Sargent, another beautiful pass into the distance. Two can't get onto it. Eri up against the number two. Eri, can he skin him this time around? Cuts on the inside, lets the shot go. It's deflected. Uh, drops down here for Myro and Eric. Eric takes over. Got Myro in the overlap. Cuts it back into him. Thinks about getting it across. He's got a wall of blue in front of him. So much to deal with and they clear it. We knock it into the market half. Headed away by the 17. 
Eric's gonna take over up against the, the number 14. Plays it into me, little reverse pass. Got Thomas to the right, Thomas is onside. Uh, Thomas there, a bit of a loose touch and I think he thought he was offside, otherwise maybe we could have been through there. Almost an hour gone. Throw in from the men in blue. Harry gets the bouncing ball, gets the second one. Ten's fl flown straight into him. He's on a yellow card as well, this number 10. Protesting his innocence. Harry again rolling around. Nothing given. Substitution to be made. Myro is making his way off the field. In place will be Sadiq taking his spot. Vance with the ball. Uh, plays it into Eric. Eric got the number five straight onto him. Qualms back into Eric. He sells him some skittles. See you later, number five. Plays into Vance. Ah, a little bit of a loose touch. And that is just the story of today so far. Can we get back into this? Harry Sargent plays it in here to Eric. Eric has Vance in the middle. Vance uh, stepping in, driving forward. Vance plays the ball behind me though. And it's cleared away. First game back for me. I'm not going to complete 92 leggy off it to be honest. If I'm being totally honest with you guys. But Lamre will take my place and it's the perfect replacement. Surely he can help us. It is Qualms on the ball. Eric has Vance on the inside as well. Eric tries to play a pass through to Sadiq. It's a good first touch, but it sent him a little bit wide. Uh, can he keep it alive for us? He's got Eri in support. Uh, he's got Vance in a bit of room as well. Sets it to Vance, gets it out his feet. Uh, fakes the shoot, takes it on the right, and it's hit Lamry. This is a serious job for us to try and uh, break down this market defense as we've tried there, and Sadiq's header goes behind. Here it is, the balls of Lamry. Fakes the pass to Sadiq, takes the five on the inside, tries to find Sadiq. 17's tracking back and he's done a good job. Still trying to find a way through this low block as it stands. 10 men of Market Hotel doing their job and the keeper doing his. We haven't tested him much. And uh, that's the first real time I'd say he's been tested. But we're going to make a change anyway. Harvey coming on the field in place of Thomas. Still a goal down, we need something. Just about 10 minutes plus whatever added time to go. Lamre's on the ball, got the five in front of him, uh, supported by the wall of blue into Sadiq. Brilliant turn, Gets, lets the shot go, it's blocked. I'm not sure if it was going goalwards or not. 23 goes down, nothing given. They've cleared it once more. Drops down here to Eric, tips it away from the 14. He's gone to ground, that's always gonna be a card all day long, he's caught him late. Uh, Harry's not pleased with the challenge at all. Rightfully so. And uh, yeah, this guy will earn himself a yellow card. I'm pretty sure the referee's not been shy with the cards this game and uh, he's definitely not going to be shy on that one he's made his decision up for him easy decision yellow card we are running out of time Vance standing over the free kick for the fourth or fifth time this game delivery curls it into the box comes to the back post here to Tolu Sadiq shot blocked comes back here Eric lets it go deflected and over the bar UTR corner Vance on the corner, right footed delivery into the front post, headed away by the number eight, drops down here to Lamry, lets it go and he sliced it a little bit wide of the target. Seems like it's going to be as it was last week, qualms into the box, into the keeper's hands, he drops down and he's going to take his time. Moments after he is going to be pulled up yet another card brandish, I'm pretty sure they might be up to six or so, goalkeeper given for time wasting. We are indeed running out of time. Bradley spreads the play out wide for Sadiq. He's getting the Jets on as well, up against the number 17. Sadiq to the byline, tries to cut back, corner. 11 on the break for Market Hotel, up against Qualms. Uh, trying to find a bit of room to put, make a pass. Something's happened between Harry and the 23 there. They're calling for something. Eight continues going. He's going to take it to the corner if you can, up against Eri to run the clock down, which would be great for Market Hotel at this point. They've done really well to defend with the 10 men. And to be honest, we've not really done too much to make it difficult for them. Into the 95th minute, Harry Sargent on the ball. He plays it out to the left. And that has been the story of today. Uh, not much doing for us in the second half. Market Hotel defensively did what they needed to do. Uh, so good luck to them in the next round. They've beaten us again and right now are a bogey team for us. So we hope to see them again and make things right. But for today, we wish them all the best in the next round. Unfortunately, just another one of those. It wasn't meant to be for us. And I don't think we've really turned up. But yeah, guys, that is it for another week of Sunday League. Be sure to check out uh, the episode of Mike Tuck on the UTR channel. Uh, check out our socials as well. If you want to come down to games, feel free to. We do post it on our socials now. So yeah, if you want to support, we need all the support we can get right now, clearly. Uh, another loss, consecutive defeats, which is not something I could say for UTR a lot of times. But yeah, we have to bounce back and hopefully we do. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you soon. Peace.